So guys, you can see 21st of June 2025 and I now actually have this update. This is the update that we all feared but the reality is Amazon are now actually blocking third party applications. You can see this directly on my device. I can click on install now. Now I don't normally make videos on Saturdays but one of my followers, uh, Riser, sent me this message as you can see directly on his screen when he tries to open up this application, Amazon are now stopping the application from launching. And the only option they give you is either you can uninstall this application or you can leave it on there, but you cannot use this application anymore. As you can see on the message that it says, this app has now been disabled, uninstall potentially harmful application, tells you the name of the app. And it says that this application has been disabled. I mean, they're saying because they can put your device or personal data at risk. And because of this, you can still keep the app on your device, but you're now unable to use it. So either uninstall the application, remove it from your device or keep it on there, but you cannot launch it anymore. So it's shocking to think that we've actually come to this stage. And this is very similar to what you have on Android TV devices where they have that Play Protect, where Google can say that this application is not safe. And because of Play Protect, they can stop the application running on your device. And in some cases, they can even automatically uninstall it for you. Now, the thing is you can actually turn off Play Protect on the Android TV devices. What can you do on these Fire Sticks and Fire TV? So, okay, my device is now restarting. Let's see exactly what this new update brings. I mean, you've seen all of the news articles recently where so many of the big players, the Disney's, the Netflix's, all these big media giants are pressuring Amazon to do something about what they call these piracy apps, these third party applications who they believe give access to their copyrighted content to anybody that installs them. They've been pressuring Amazon and maybe now Amazon have now finally taken that first step. Okay, let's go to the settings. Let's just double check to see if there's any more updates and we can see it is downloading another update. So let's let this one finish. Then I'll quickly double check those applications. I have installed them on my device and we can see if they've started blocking them straight away or like in most cases, they do this in a phased approach. Let's give that a second. And just while you're waiting guys, if you haven't subscribed already, YouTube is telling me that more than 75% of you are watching my content, but you haven't actually subscribed. So please do double check. Make sure you are subscribed for the latest news, latest updates, the best tips and tricks for all of your streaming devices. Thank you. Okay, let's click on install. And in this demonstration, I'm doing this on my second generation Fire Stick Max, the one that came with this remote. And let's see now if this is the final update and I'll try and open up those third party applications. Now, one of the questions I did ask Razor was, did he notice this just on his second generation Fire Stick Max or is this happening on any other device? And as you can see on the screen, he did confirm that it's also happening on the new 4K stick as well. So please do double check on your device if you've got this latest update and if this is now impacting your third party applications the typical ones, the cinemas, the flixes, the bees, the those kind of applications, it is always worthwhile double checking to make sure if you can still launch them on your device. Okay, that's now finished. Let's click on check again. Okay, so all the updates are now complete. Let me confirm the exact version number. Okay, so my device, my second generation Fire Stick Max is running Fire OS 8.1.4.0 and we can see the home version there. Let me now press the home button. Let me now go to my app library. So these are some of my applications. Let's try this one first because this is the one that was blocked on his device. Let me click on that now. Okay, so my device, this one is still working. Let's back out of that. Then we have this one here. Let's try that. This one seems to be okay. Let's go back. Okay, so the fact that we have two out of two successful, I suspect that on my device, this particular thing hasn't been activated yet. As we've seen in the past with other Amazon updates, they have the ability to turn things on running on your device. So, so maybe the Play Protect that Amazon devices are going to use, just like on the Android TV devices, Maybe that thing hasn't been activated on my device, but definitely you can see guys, it's only a matter of time now. More of these devices are now going to get that update. They'll turn that feature on and these applications or any application that Amazon deems to be illegal or potentially containing copyrighted content will automatically be blocked on your device and there'll be no way to run it. Unless I can find some kind of way, maybe with ADB to turn off this feature. We know on the Android TV devices, it's very easy to do you can turn off Play Protect, but I just need to find out if there's something similar on these Amazon devices. So make sure you guys are subscribed to all notifications. I'll be doing more testing on this. I definitely will be looking forward to your comments down below. 
Let me know if you can see anything like this on your third party applications. And really, guys, this could be the beginning of the end of third party streaming on these devices. So really appreciate your support. Do like and share this video and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.